Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Mattel DC Young Justice Invasion Batman. It's quite a large package because not only do you get Batman inside here, but you also get yourself a very cool sculpted diorama. The figure is extremely posable, which also makes me wonder, is that the right way to be spelling posable? I always thought there was an error, but oh well. You can see that Batman does come with a couple of batarangs and what looks to be some sort of gas bomb, gas pellet. Um, again, a very large package, extremely rare, I might add as well, which is... A bit of a shame because this already looks like it's going to be a really good Batman. On the side, some of the characters that make up the Young Justice. And on the back, other figures that you can get. Besides Batman, we also have Kid Flash. And then these smaller 4-inch scale figures, we have Batman Shazam in, in commas. Quotations, I should say. Uh, Red Arrow and Black Manta. On the larger scale... I think Kid Flash would be one I would like to get as well. I haven't picked up the Robin yet either, but... The read-up says, After his parents were murdered, Bruce Wayne dedicated his life to a new mission, fighting crime as the Batman. In order to better protect Gotham City and the world, he became a founding member of the Justice League. There you go. Uh, what I am going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up. When we come back, we're going to get a better look at Batman. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. The accessories that come with Batman, you get yourself two Batarangs. A nice pleasant surprise. It's not the same Batarangs that we've gotten with every other Batman figure. Generally, those Batarangs are always the same ones they've recycled over and over and over again, right from the very beginning of the Mattel Batman line. In this case, we've got ourselves a little bit of a chunkier, actually, Batarang. A little more simplistic, but very I like it quite a bit. And you also get two of them. So if one gets lonely, you got an extra one here, right? Easily enough. The other accessory that Batman does come with, he does come with this. And I can only imagine it to be some sort of bat gas pellet, gas bomb. A little puff of smoke going up up there. If that isn't what this is, I do apologize, but that's, that's what it appears to be for me. Uh, there is actually a peg hole on the undersiding of whatever this may be. Um, you can have Batman holding it. I'm just going to put Batman aside for a second. He's probably going to fall. Uh, the display stand, the diorama, has two pegs. There's a peg right there and a peg at the top there. Uh, from the looks of it, you can actually peg that gas pellet, if that is what this is. You can peg it into either spot, which I like. I think that's a nice added touch. Um, you don't generally get, accessory-wise, you don't generally get things that have an action to them aside from just very staction items such as batarangs. That uh, This is a nice welcome change. Yeah, I, I like it. Um, moving the accessories aside, the actual diorama is very cool indeed. Uh, it's hollow. There's nothing on the back, unfortunately. But, I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing at all. Um, the brickwork on it is very nice. Paint is very good. They've actually put a couple of different layers of paint on there. A much darker paint around the edge. Make the bricks stand out. Way, way at the top, you'll see yourself. Well, you won't see yourself, but you'll see a, a great gargoyle perched... Up at the top corner there, sculpted into the stone, which I think is a very nice added touch as well. And as Spot has already in indicated, two peg holes, one at the top, one at the bottom. So you could probably have Batman on either end, uh, being that Batman does come with two peg holes, as with most DC Universe figures. So a very nice set. Now granted, you are paying a little bit more for the bells and whistles and the fact that you are getting a display base diorama as well, as opposed to just strictly the Batman. 
this lends itself to me to the idea of the signature collection, which I think I've commented on before if you've watched those videos or not, but the, the very notion that the Young Justice went as much as to give you a display base diorama, and yet the signature collection, which are subscription uh, figures, have not given you anything. Uh, aside from the Black Mask, um, I can't really recall any uh, of the signature collection figures that really came with much, um, excluding, of course, I think Noron, whatever the guy's name is with the, the chair. I don't. He wasn't a figure I picked up, so it, it was alright. Moving along, I do love this display base. I do. I'm really surprised actually that they put as much love into the DC, uh, the the um, the Young Justice line as much as they did with including all these extra accessories. Having a look finally at the Batman, a spot has yammered on long enough, as they say. Um, this is a really, really nice Batman. I like him quite a bit. Uh, there are some imperfections, as you can see. I don't know if it's why it was sculpted in. It looks like there was a sculpting error, but there's a little line crease in Batman's cowl here. Um, but that aside, it's a really awesome Batman. Really, really digging it. Um, just to kind of give you a quick time frame of, of the way that figures we used to get for the Batman figures, I just brought actually a couple here, reaching off camera here, and obviously I'm going to put Batman here first. The first real figure that we got for a Batman from the DC Universe, not excluding of course the, uh, the Batman independent line, but the first Batman we got was uh, Crime Stopper Batman, I think that was his name. Crime Detective Batman, which on his own was a really good figure. It was good. It works perfectly. If you ask me with the DC uh, Superheroes line, if you have yourself a challenge of the Super Friends lineup, the Super Powers line, this would be an ideal Batman to go with it. Mold worked fine. It was a really good mold. I had no problems with it. The downside, though, is for this particular mold, it saw light of day quite frequently. Reaching off camera again. Obviously, one of the ex examples was the 89 style Batman that came with what DC Universe Wave 10 again utilizing the exact same mold I don't know what it is. I'm just not a fan of this mold. I have Really never liked this mold For me again personally my preference was if anything the Wave 1 Batman standalone But uh, we, we have certainly got a lot of these Batmans different paint schemes but the same mold utilized again and again and I I just don't like this side profile. I don't like it at all. I don't like how the ears kind of stick out from their, from themselves. Batman looks a little chunky in the face going on there. Yeah, it definitely was not my favorite Batman, to say the least. I'm just going to put him here. Uh, other figures that we've gotten, of course, we've got ourselves the S. Grandos Batman from the Public Enemies line, which was a branch off from the DC Universe line. Uh, not a bad Batman, awfully tanned if you ask me in the face. I liked pretty much from the head down. The torso wasn't too bad and the rest of the body wasn't too bad, but the head looks a little uh, escrondos. A little escrondos, and there's a little bit of hair there. Putting him there. Oh, geez, Spot's collecting a whole bunch of Batmans going on here. I think it's more important to also note... The original DC Superheroes um, Batman, which was the black cowl, it also came in a blue cowl. Up to this point, this was one of Spot's favorite Batmans. Really liked the torso and the uh, the belt and everything else like that. I thought it was a really perfect Batman. Only thing I really didn't like was the face. He looked a little old, little old man Batman going on there. At least the cowl was a lot better, and there's a little bit more <laughs> more hair. <laughs> Uh, the benefits of having a cat. Yeah, so it's not a bad Batman. Again, this was one of my favorites. And then, of course, sprinkled in there, we've got ourselves some DC, uh, DC Batman Legacy line Batman, which, again, I don't know, understand what's going on with his face. It's, it's rather atrocious. It really is. And then also we've got ourselves the first appearance Batman, to name a few. There are obviously a lot more Batmans. Spot won't spend a lot of efforts touching base on those Batmans because uh, we're not doing a review of that Batman at all. We're actually having a look at the Young Justice Batman. The reason why I wanted to bring those other Batmans out to you was, if you ask me personally, um, up to this point, and I say up to this point now, 
up to this point, I didn't think we got ourselves a real definitive Batman that would look good on the shelf with the other DC Universe figures. Having now said that and having now seen the new Batman here from the Young Justice line, I think he's a lot nicer of a Batman. The face sculpt, though very similar to the DC Universe Wave 1 Batman and all the clones that came afterwards, although it's a very similar face, um, it's got a much more chiseled look to it. And I think it works perfectly with this particular Batman. You can also notice, I'm sure, the predominant cape as well that sits in the front of the figure as opposed to more so in the back as opposed to more so in the back as you can see there. I like the fact that it drapes over his shoulders and not so much behind his shoulders. Another good plus to the figure. Also his Batarang, his bat utility belt I should say. Um, very simplified but works. It works really well. He's also got himself the classic Batman logo. There's the back of the cape. It's a stiffer uh, a cape than that of some of the other Batmans we've gotten. This one is a lot more uh, substantial, I would say, as well. It's not long. It's not as long as some of the others either, but uh, I think it works really well with the Batman. As for my one gripe with the figure, and it really only stems to one gripe, I don't like the color. As much as I love the Batman's head, I think it's perfect. I think the cape is perfect. Everything works on the Batman really well, and then we get this kind of, I don't know what color you would like to describe this as. It's almost like a, a greenish gray. I know there's no green in it, but it's got a very dingy kind of gray to it. <sighs> Such a shame. Such a shame, because had it not been for that, I would say this is the definitive DC Universe Batman. It really is perfect, if you ask me, aside from really the coloring here. If it was just a, a lighter gray, maybe something on par with the actual set, the, the, the diorama that he came with, uh, then I would definitely say this is a perfect Batman for your display. Even though the fact that the coloring is still a little off, I still love this Batman quite a bit. Uh, Body-wise, his torso is utilizing a much narrower body than that of some of the other uh, DC Universe figures. Um, aside from that though, his arms, aside from a few tweaks in the in the hands there, where you can see they've applied almost like a, almost like a brass knuckles kind of uh, armor on, on his knuckles here, and also the fact that his forearm is a little more uh, smaller points on his, on his glove. Um, he pretty much uses a lot of the regular variety of DC Universe body to make this Batman. Um, in the way of his articulation, this Batman's head rotates up and down, left and right. His arms are on a ball and socket, although the only problem is the arms only go so far out due to the fact that his cape covers over the shoulders as opposed to the other way. Uh, his arms do rotate, bend at the elbow, rotate in the hand, upper torso bend. He has the rotation in the waist, legs that go forward and back out, bend at the knee, rotation in the thigh, and a pivot in the foot. So you get the exact same kind of articulation that you would get with the normal Batmans, but definitely this is a far superior Batman if you ask me. The only other gripe I could probably make is the fact that his head is a little too shiny of a paint versus the rest of his cape. If it was matted up here to match this, it, I think it would transition a little bit better than what it has. But uh, definitely if you ask me, this is a much better Batman, and I'm hoping we can only be hopeful in all this, but I am hoping that Mattel realizes as good of a sculpt as this is, I'm really hoping that this is the, the benchmark for what future Batman figures we're going to get. Because guaranteed we're going to get a whole, a whole lot more. I'm hoping that this is the kind of, this is the Batman and they just simply recolor him slightly. Uh, this is the best Batman, if you ask me, this guy right here, the best Batman to put on display with your other DC Universe figures. Uh, forget the other ones. Although, again, keep the, the Wave 1 Batman works because he is nice and classic. But if you want an updated Batman, perfect for the DC Universe, no better place to look than Young Justice Batman. Which, by far, um, I think I'm going to give him, though, a 9.5. He's just a perfect, perfect figure. Uh, again, except for maybe some slight paint um, choices, as a, I should say. 
Um, but just definitely a, definitely a good figure to get. Unfortunately, he's a little bit of this. He is one of the most expensive figures of the Young Justice. He is the most expensive figure of Young Justice. And surprisingly, to find him on eBay, usually you'll only find him in loose um, auctions. You won't tend to find him too many, uh, in too many cases packaged with uh, sealed in box with the diorama with all the bases and everything else. Usually they're selling him on his own. I don't know why, but usually that's the way it's been lately. Um, I have a luck out and I found him on eBay. Uh, completely sealed, brand new, and uh, I couldn't wait to get him reviewed. So glad that I did. Very happy to have picked him up. Today's very long toy spot. I apologize, this one was a little longer than others. Today's toy spot that we're having a look at the Mattel DC Young Justice. We're having a look at Batman, a far, far greater Batman than what we've gotten in the past. Oh, Mattel, please use this mold again. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below on what you think of this Batman. Maybe you were lucky enough to pick him up when he came out. Um, but I will definitely see you guys next time for another Toy Spot. See you guys next time.